saw for the first time what a cool, groovy, and happening place uh, Dayton was, mostly because you still had streetcars downtown, and I thought, this is a city on the cutting edge of tomorrow. Sturden's still excited tonight about playing host to a major movie star. Tom Hanks was on campus today for the dedication of the new Tom Hanks Center for Motion Pictures. Some students only got a glimpse, but only on Fox 45, we talked to a student who met him. Our Lisa Smith live now on campus with more reaction. Lisa? Yeah, well, Adam, tonight, pretty much everybody here at Rice State is a Tom Hanks fan. Now, whether you've seen the actor from afar or sat down for an inspirational talk, the actor has certainly left his mark on Raider Country. Tom Hanks. This is a day many Wright State students will not forget. The day Tom Hanks came to campus. Oh yes, yeah. only bragging rights now that we have our Tom Hanks Center. <laughs> it's great for Wright State, definitely. This was as close as some students could get as Hanks spoke at the dedication of the Tom Hanks Center for Motion Pictures. I even heard one student say, I can't believe I'm this close to Tom Hanks. Um, I may have. <laughs> I could very well have said that. I know I squealed a little when he came out. I was really excited to see him. There was even a forced Gump sighting. Matt Klein dressed the part in hopes of getting Hanks to sign his vintage Gump shoes. He gave me a, you know, a chest bump, so that was cool. But Jasmine Eastler may have one of the better stories to tell. The graduating music theater major had lunch with Hanks. She's one of the university's Tom Hanks scholars. Overall, he just opened up his experiences and his heart, and he just generously, generously shared that with us today. She says it's great to see how involved Hanks is with the university, and he offered her some advice for when she enters the world of entertainment. I believe it was a huge encouragement as far as knowing that I can accomplish the things that I want to in my first couple of steps out of here, which is amazing. And full disclosure, Jasmine Eastler is my cousin. She's looking forward to graduating and then heading to New York with some other Wright State grads to showcase their talents. And they know that when they do go out there into the world of entertainment, they can take the name of Tom Hanks with them as Wright State grads. Live at Wright State, Lisa Smith, Fox 45 News on ABC.